Hi yogis, Christine here, and I'm here to work on some things that a lot of people say, hey, I have trouble doing this arm balancer, these different um, poses that I think are just way out there. I don't ever need to do them. But you know what? They're fun to try, and it also will show you how you're getting stronger in your core, stronger in your body, and working on balance. So we're going to do some fun little balance poses and, uh, you know, I remember when I first started learning balances, I thought, oh, I'm not going to ever be able to do that. But uh, over time when I, I worked on it and I saw how other people did it and I looked at the body mechanics of it, I figured it out. And now it's just fun to do and so, so get ready for some fun. and. We're going to start with uh, a little warm-up because you always want to warm your body up, especially when you're going to this, you know, place of, of a little more twisty, adventure -y poses, okay? So enjoy this uh, fun practice. So let's start in mountain pose. I'm going to move my stick. Start in mountain pose, nice and tall. Find your alignment. Spread your toes, lift them up off of the floor, or the mat, I'm on the grass. And feel your arches lifting, feel from your feet grounding to your core lengthening up through the crown of your head. Take a few deep breaths here. Our ujjayi breath is in the back of your throat, long and deep, to really feel this space, this present moment. And then just take a moment to set your intention for your practice, whatever it may be today. Today's a gorgeous day in my backyard here in Delaware. Where are you? All right, so let's start with just reaching up to the sky on your inhale. Exhale and bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, get length. And exhale down. Do that two more times. As you inhale, feel like you're broadening out. And as you exhale, hug to your core center, your mula bandha, your pelvic floor. Inhale. Good. On your next inhale, reach all the way up and then stretch your hands behind your back. Lift through your heart and get a nice shoulder stretch. Take a deep breath in. And then on your exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. I'm going to turn this way. Let your arms stretch overhead. And then float your hands down. And just get a little movement going so you have a nice foundation, but you have a little movement as well. Sway side to side. Let your head be heavy. Take a final breath in. And exhale, release your hands. Now pressing into the earth. Draw in and up towards your navel and slowly curl your spine up, stacking as you go. Roll your shoulders back and stand nice and tall at the top. So we're going to do two Surya Namaskar sun salutations. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and fold forward. Keep your knees soft at first. On your inhale, draw your navel in and lift up to a flat back. Connect to that core. Exhale, bring your hands down and step one foot back into a lunge and the other. Find your plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw your navel in and curl through your spine. So lift up and stretch back into downward facing dog. From here, wave back forward to high plank or maybe kneeling plank if you're just Working on that core strength, bend your elbows three inches, then lower your hips and lift into cobra. Take two breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
And then exhale, press up. You could press to your knees, draw your navel in. Stretch back and tuck your toes under, and then straighten your legs out. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee and curl forward to step to your right thumb. Now here's where we're going to just warm up that spine in a twist. So just open out to the side. Twisting, looking up, reaching strong. And come back. Good. Step your back foot forward and fold. Inhale, wave up to a flat back. Exhale and fold. So feet are spread apart. Bend your knees. Hug down to the earth and into your core. Then reach up and wave out into Utkatasana, fierce pose. Inhale, stand. And on your exhale, fold forward again. So you can reach your arms out. Get your legs a little bit straighter. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, step your left foot back and your right Hold your plank. Exhale, curl back to downward dog and find your focus. Inhale, curl your spine again, scooping your tailbone, lengthening out forward to high plank or kneeling plank. Exhale, chaturanga, two inches. Lower your hips. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, draw back to your knees or all the way back to downward facing dog. Hold for a breath in and out. Left leg to the sky. Bend your knee, curl in and step to your left thumb. So here you can have a block if you need or put your hand here and rotate. Opening out to your twist, then come back and step forward and fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale and fold. Bending your knees, curl up, wave up into fierce pose. Inhale, stand. And exhale, back to mountain pose. So let's do two more sun salutations. Going a little deeper, a little smoother. One breath in as you reach up. Exhale and fold forward. Inhale, lift to flat back. Exhale, step or jump back into plank. Move through Chaturanga Dandasana and inhale, lifting up. Cobra up dog. Curl your tailbone. Draw your ribs in. Lengthen to downward dog. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee and curl forward. Step to your right thumb. This time, let's take your hands to your, to your heart and draw all the way up into a balancing crescent pose or warrior one. Good, and then spin to the side now with your upper body. Maybe reaching out, inhale. Exhale, hands together. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, and come back to center. Hands down and step to a forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale to flat back. And fold. Press into the earth. Feet are separated. Draw your navel in. Shine out. And sink. Inhale, stand. And mountain. Good. Let's do one more time. Inhale to the sky. Nice and stretchy. And fold. Lift to flat back. Exhale, step or jump back into plank. And move straight through Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down with your feet up. Settle for a breath. And then inhale your left leg. Exhale and curl in, step to your left thumb. Hands to your heart as you wave up and stack in your hips. Spin to the side. Open your arms out. And 
and back to center. Good hands down and step forward and fold. Inhale to a flat back and fold. Bend your knees and wave last time up into fierce pose. So hold your fierce pose here. Tailbone's long and a little bit scooped to engage your mula bandha. Reach out long. Good. Bring your hands to your heart. Look down so that you can see that your knees are lined up with your toes. And just lift your right foot up. So we'll do a nice balance here, drawing your navel in. So curl in so you hug in and up. And you feel that nice connection from the earth to your core. And then we're going to shine out by lengthening that leg. Lengthen your heart into warrior three. Your hands can be to your heart or back by your side or maybe reaching out. Two more breaths. Good. On your exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Bend both knees. Hug in. And place your foot down. Stand. Reach all the way tall. Nice little upper little back bend. And then forward fold. Inhale, lift to flat back. Exhale. And fold. <laughs> Bend your knees. Sweep up. Lots of pollen out here today. Scoop your tailbone. Engage. Good. Bring your hands to your heart. And look down. Lift your left foot up. And work it on the other side. I can sneeze and balance at the same time. Hug your knee into your navel. Good. Begin to lengthen out. So you could do warrior three lifting up and then begin to tilt forward. Standing leg is straight. Back foot is flexed. You could point it too. And then maybe reaching out with your arms for two more breaths. So to come out, bend your standing knee. Bring your hands back to your heart. Hug your knee in. And then place your foot down and stand. So that's kind of a really good thing to do before working on our balances. So some more balances that are a little more challenging. So we're going to work on crow pose right now. So the setup for crow is drawing in and up. So a lot of times you'll see crow where people set up like this and they're way down here. So that doesn't give you any opportunity to, to draw up and away from, you know, the earth, lifting in and up. So what we're going to do is place your hands a little on a diagonal and then using your legs, straighten your legs, draw your navel in and up. Now you're going to hug the outside of your arm with the inside of your thigh. So squeeze your outer arm in and up and lift your navel. Your gaze is going to go forward where your heart is going. If you look straight down, you're going to fall down. So make sure your gaze is out and your hands are inside the width of your legs. All right, so lifting your navel, hugging your arms, gazing forward, go to your tippy toes and lift your toes up. You can grip with your fingers, it helps. The next adventure we could do is shoot your legs back into plank pose. Keep your elbows soft and then you can go right through your vinyasa. Nice stretch and downward dog. Whoops. All right, from here, let's do another little jump forward. So bring your feet together, bend your knees, send your hips back. Take an inhale breath, exhale, and curl in and up. Do that a few times. Bending, straightening. Bend, sit back, straighten to lift up, shoulders over wrists. And then see if you can do a little, few little jumps. Just lift up. Arms are strong. Keep your legs together. Good. Hips over, shoulders, and then jump forward. 
Lift to flat back. And fold. Inhale. This time, let's just reach out and all the way up to stand. And bring your hands to heart center. All right. So another favorite balance of mine, another little arm balance, is one where you start sitting. So have a seat. Bring your right foot over your left and bring it up high. So we're going to start here getting that hip opened out and then you can go a little deeper bending the other knee and this is a good pigeon pose. So if you progress like this you're opening things so that you can go deeper. You know sometimes you have to back away to go deeper. Alright so here we are holding this pigeon pose and now to go further we're going to do cradle the baby. So hug around the bottom of that foot with one L arm and the other arm around your knee. And then just open that up a little more. Getting that hip open. Cradling the baby side to side. Another thing you can do to go deeper here is to hold the bottom of your foot here and lift up and down and side to side. Now get, that, get that action happening where you're really opening up. All right, so here comes where you can go next for your balance. So take your arm underneath, so you don't have to put your whole head, <laughs> foot over your head, but you're just taking your arm underneath. You're going to rest that leg right here below your shoulder, and then take your hand onto the floor. All right, so that's a tricky part to keep that leg there and take your hand to the floor. Now, you can release that. you got to use your abdominals. So as soon as I release that, these really need to activate. All right, so put both hands down by your hip and just lift your bottom off. We're down again. So let's try that with lifting your other leg off. All right, here comes a bounce. Lift your bottom, lift your leg, hold, and lower down. All right, that's actually, I feel, a little harder than the next thing because we're using this action to hug your feet together. So take that straight leg, hook it over your toes here, and flex your toes back. So you're kind of hooking your toes, and that gives you a little more strength. Now, let's try it again. Press down and lift up. Now we can go to this arm balance where you just extend your legs out. Feel like you're squeezing your left arm. Well, I guess it's your right arm. And come back. Good. All right. So whatever we do on one side, we got to do it on the other side. So let's do the other side. Cross your left leg across. Sit tall. Bring that foot up. So we see you didn't do it that long. You don't have to hold it forever but it's something that you can work on over time. All right, bend your other foot in. Feel that good balance, that good stretch in your hip. All right, and go into cradle the baby. Rock side to side. Breathe deeply. Your breath helps too. So opening that hip this way, and now let's open it. Hold the bottom of your foot. Just release this hand and open it this way, up and down, side to side. Good. All the time, sitting nice and tall, using that core strength. So when we bring this elbow through, right, just kind of lean. I do lean forward a little bit, pull that leg to you, lift it up even, and then place this hand down as close to your bottom, uh, your hip as you can. All right, and then release. Use your core. Ready? We're just going to first lift your bottom. See how that goes? And lower down. I'm really pressing down on this le uh, arm a little bit and getting strength here. All right? So lift up, lift that foot, hold, and lower down. All right, now let's hook that uh, left foot on top, that right foot. You're right. All right, and then lift your bottom up, hold, and now let's extend your legs out to the side. So feel like you're squeezing your arm, your left arm. Squeeze and come all the way back. All right, good job. Just hug your knees, sit nice and tall. Very nice. So let's do one more adventure pose. It's one of my favorites. We kind of did it when we were lifting and jumping a little bit. But this time we're going to jump through to sitting. 
So this took me quite some time. I still need to kind of tent my fingers to get some more space. So we're going to start. I'll start with a nice breath in as you stand up. Reach up tall, exhale, fold. Lift to that flat back. And then step or jump back into plank. Good, now from plank, you're going to draw your navel in, wave back to downward dog, and then send your hips back into this little crouch. So you can prepare by bending and straightening your knees so that you feel that lift, right? You feel like you're flying off of the ground, because that's what we're about to do. So send your hips back, draw in and up. Have your gaze be forward. So get ready, we're going to lift your heels. Now I'm going to tent my fingers a little bit. And then lift and float your feet forward. My heel is going like this, so maybe I should turn around the other way. Then I'll have a lot of momentum to go that way. So I'm going to try it this way. But uh, you're just kind of lifting and sending your legs forward. Okay, so let's try it this way. Bend your knees. Tent your fingers if you need to. And lift. So I still slid my feet a little bit, so it takes a little time to get all the way through. So I'm going to try it one more time. Let your legs come through. And then you'll be sitting. So if you can't make it all the way through, though, you're just going to jump maybe to the middle of your mat. Send your hips back. Jump to the middle of your mat. And that's great. And then sit down. And then just work towards going a little deeper. So at the end of your practice, making sure that you stretch out. Maybe sitting, doing some nice gentle twists side to side. And then always resting in Shavasana. You can come to your back. Arms out to the side. You can put your knees together and just enjoy the beautiful day, whether you're inside or out. And thank you for joining me to learn a few fun balances. Bye, yogis.